Hi, I'm Diana Lassier, and I'm here to do an unboxing of the Ouroboard travel package. So first you're gonna get it just like this. We'll take it out of the box. Okay, this is a travel wheelie bag. Really easy to transport. It's got handles on the top and at each end, and it's on wheels. So next we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Okay, right on top we have our oars. They come in this really nice bag with four compartments inside so they aren't getting bashed around or scratched while you are storing them or transporting them. Our two part oars, so each half is packed really well. So the last piece right out of this pocket there. Nice Velcro lid. We have another pocket at the end here. That has our or collars in it. So you might want to just have a handy little exact knife or something just to open all your packaging. It's all taped up pretty well. And you've got your four pieces and you've got color coded two starboard and two port ones to put together. Okay, I've got a set of oars already put together here. Just as I mentioned before, you've got the great tape on each end for your starboard in green and your port behind me in red, so you don't mix up the pieces when you put them together. Easily click them apart and back together in minutes. Just great. And then we have the collar here that's just set on three. Starting to fill up from there, that's kind of up to you, but the less overlap. It's a little bit quicker if you're just learning to row. You can move it up as you go along if you like. Okay, so then you have your paddle that comes included with your combo travel package. The handle's not inside yet. It needs to be put together as you open it up as well. It's very easy and very easy to adjust according to your height. Then in your travel package, you have this flap over top protecting your whole oar board underneath all the oars. It all comes strapped into the bag really well, packaged well so it isn't getting scratched or damaged. Like that. A lot of recycled material I see, which is great. And then I'm just gonna use an X-Acto knife or knife to cut through all the packaging, show you what's next. Okay, this is our newest model, it's injection molded. So I'm just gonna get my X-Acto knife here and open it up and show you all the pieces. Okay. So the struts haven't changed too much, They're fairly similar on this model. Everything is made with recycled wrapping material, most of it. Okay, there is the foot stop. Okay, and then there is the seat. I'm just gonna take all these packaging off so nothing blows off here. Okay, I'll put these here. There's both of our straps to so strap the oar board to your paddle board. And there's the manual. Oh, with some cool little, some spare wing nuts, phone case, some stickers, a few bit of oar board swag in there. Okay, so you can see there's the oar board base. Your carriage is right attached. You don't really have to do much with that. So it is fairly close to assembled as they tell you when you read about it. So I'm gonna take this bag right off, everything inside it. 
just leave off all the parts that we need to set it together. Okay, we have the ore board base here. Really simple first things we saw. It's the seat, just one wing nut underneath. That's going on. It lifts up towards the back. It'll only fit on one way. Push that on there. Tighten that wing nut and that's on. You have the two struts on your foot stop. Doesn't really matter what order you put them on. Let's see, here's the foot stop. Has pins on either side to lock it in place. So we'll put it in the middle placement on each side. And then your hole will be right in line underneath there. Okay, then with your struts, you're going to need to take all your wing nuts off first. Okay, so these two ends are just going to fit together like that. Then they're going to, you need to straighten them out. You're going to fit them right through the end here. So your carriage is already in place. Your struts can just kind of hang out and wait a minute there. Easiest to get behind it and take a look. So you want these lined up perfectly to fit through here. So it should just guide through pretty easily like that. And this is just going to fit right over top through the ends there. Just on these two, you're going to want a flat head screwdriver to tighten them up at the top. And we have our four wing nuts right across the struts here. And then tighten them up quite a bit. So I just kind of let them all down a little bit. Okay, so we have everything assembled here. Your foot stop's got Velcro around your top of your foot, strap around your heel. You also have the knee brace, knee strap here, so you can have is up around your calf, which will pull, easy to pull and release your feet out if you were to tip. So next you just have your two straps to strap the oar board down onto your paddle board. So depending what paddle board you have, if you have ours, you're gonna have shorter straps. You're gonna line it up just with these deck rings here and easily strap it right on top. If you have your own paddle board, you're gonna get longer straps and you're gonna run the board, the straps all the way around your paddle board. You're going to have your buckle pushed back over the strap. You're going to start with that inside the oar board. Place it in the middle. You're going to run the strap material through the oar board. Outside and around the ring and back into the oar board. So you're going to go under the buckle, cross the oar board, cross the paddle board to the next ring. Keeping everything straight in line, back inside. Now this is the part that you gotta watch, make sure you get it right, is that you're gonna put that strap closest to the rest of the material there, so like the second bar there. I keep it close to the edge there, so you've got room to flip it over after. Feed it back in the next spot open, and then you're gonna hand tighten it in place here. Buckle it over, and then feed the rest of your strap right through. We're going to do that twice, each end of the board.
Okay, so again, we've got the buckle over the back of the strap. Starting from the center. We go through the oar board, out to the end of the board, through the ring. Oh, sorry, over the ring, sorry. <laughs> it's not gonna get you too far. So you're going back into the oar board, under the buckle, across, to the other ring, under it, and back towards your board again. You wanna keep everything strapped nice and line. So again, we're keeping that buckle kind of off to one side. You're gonna hand tighten it. And clip it down in place. At this end, you have a little bit of extra strapping because the buckles are a little closer together as the board gets narrow at the end. So you can just tie that up with the band here. I just kind of roll it and use one of these bands to tighten it. Easily like that, and you put your oars in and you're ready to row. Start with our port oar. Picture as you are sitting on your board, you're scooping the water towards you and your paddle board. See the, how the blade curves? Now you want the oar lock over the strut, not pointing out away from the board. Close the gate and tighten the nut shut. And then we take our starboard oar on the other side. And again, make sure your oar lock is over the strut towards your paddle board. Close up the oar lock gate again. Now also a great place to keep your handles when you're not rowing is to tuck them under the tie down straps there easy way to handle your oar board. Okay, we're all set up and ready to go for a row.